to show you how we shear, like the shearing setup we have, it's pretty not, I mean, it's pretty labor intensive. We gotta have two catchers. We usually have two shears here, but we got one this time and there's a piece of plywood right here. We got an old carpet kind of on a deal. So we put that over that. Wool bagger, shearing machine. We got another bag here. We gotta clean this up a little bit, but I mean, this is how we do it, and I'd like to do it uh, like uh, when you shear a lot of sheep, they have, like they'll have an alley right here, and sheep coming in, and they'll be on like a frame with a piece of, and it'll be like a, uh, like a sh it's pretty much like a chute, like an alley that you work them in, but it's like a foot off the ground, I think. There's a piece of plywood with a spring, you push it down, and they can just grab the U. And off you go instead of having catchers, but maybe that's for the future, but that's how we shear. So we bring little groups in here, shear them, and in here they go through this little gate. So anyway, off I go. This is day one of shearing. We're going to shear tomorrow too. Um, we got about half the use done. I'm not able to get any video um, shearing because I'm catching and I'm busy, so I can't, so... Anyway, this is about 61, I think. Gonna let them out to drink. Shove them all in the barn for the night so they don't get all muddy and gross because we've got bad weather coming tomorrow. And then we're gonna finish shearing. So, yeah, look pretty good. So, if you're wondering, there's red on them because they rub on this snow fence and get that treatment or paint on them. So, it won't harm them any. So, anyway, see you tomorrow. Just thought I'd show you what we have set up here. We got the shore news. In this part of the barn, which is usually where I put my lambing jugs. And then, you know, this is where we sheared. And I got the unshorn ewes over there. Hey guys, Peterson Sheep Ranch here, coming at you with an update on the shearing vidya. As you can see, we got all the ewes, all nice and shorn. They're happy and content and looking good. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the actual shearing process for you guys. The shearer didn't want to be on camera, which is just fine. Uh, we shear this time of year because we're going to lamb pretty soon, but wool actually gets in the way of that process. If there's wool on the sheep and she tries to lamb, you'll most likely have to pull the lamb. And also, if there's any wool by her udder area, the lamb, when it's born, it'll try and nurse a piece of wool rather than her teats, and uh, he can starve to death. So that's no good. I don't know if you can see on video, but we got some green marks on these sheep, and that's because we actually had to pour them. I've had something in my flock I've personally never had before, and that is ticks in the wool at shearing time. I looked it up, it's a blood sucking fly, and it doesn't hurt a whole lot. Some people just leave it alone, but the book strongly suggested <clears throat> that I pour them. And that's what we did. So anyway, everything went pretty good. You can see they're shorn and we're not gonna get cold because we're gonna keep them in the barn at night and during the day, we also keep the barn door open. So anyway, thanks for watching.